Crystal Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Silverbrook Elementary School located in Fairfax Station. Silverbrook is what I would consider to be a pretty large school with over 800 students enrolled each school year, coming primarily from the subdivisions of Barrington, Cross Point, and Silverbrook Estates. Now, if you're new to the area or just unfamiliar with how uh, zoning works in Fairfax County, I definitely recommend you check out the Fairfax County Boundary Locator. Uh, you put your home address or the property address you're considering moving to into the Boundary Locator, and it's going to tell you exactly which school your child will be zoned to for grades kindergarten through 12th grade. So Silverbrook is going to be part of the South County Pyramid. That means that they would move on to South County Middle School and then ultimately South County High for grades 9 through 12. Another thing for parents to consider are the hours of operation and the before and after care option. The school day starts at 8.50 at Silverbrook with dismissal being around 3.35 and that doesn't work out for a lot of parents, particularly those who work in the district. So I just want to let you know about some of the before and after care options. Um, there is a SAC or school age child care program available at Silverbrook. Typically that opens at 7 o'clock and dismissal for aftercare is around 6.15. Now, slots are limited in SAC, and for that reason, I want to let you know that you can enroll your child in a private before and after care facility, and they will do both pickup and drop off at the kiss and ride line. And that's an option many parents are very happy to have because a lot of those programs actually have extended hours that are longer than what's available at SAC. The Department of Education says typically when you find a school with higher parent involvement, there are also higher test scores and higher rates of student achievement. Um, at Silverbrook, you're going to find they have a very active PTA that hosts a number of fundraisers and social events throughout the year. The PTA can also be a great resource for parents to meet other parents and families in the community. Um, and so. One thing I recommend, if you're looking for a house or considering a new school for your kids during the school year, I recommend checking out the PTA website to find out when their next meeting is and dropping by. That way you can see in person how organized uh, the PTA is and what type of activities they put on at the school. It's also a great opportunity to ask parents about the school itself and how they feel about the curriculum and the teachers there. Now there are a number of specials that are available at every elementary school. That's going to be general music, art, PE, library, and computer lab. But then there are going to be a few others that are only available at select schools. There's a STEAM lab, which is a science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics lab that students visit at least once or twice a month. Um, and that's just going to give them some additional coursework in that field. But then there's also the FLES program um, available at Silverbrook. So Silverbrook is one of only a handful of elementary schools that offer FLES, which is foreign language and elementary schools. The foreign language taught at, Sil taught at Silverbrook is gone to be Spanish and as I said there are only a handful of elementary schools in the entire county that offer foreign languages. Outside of the classroom there are a number of opportunities for your child to get involved. Um, there are going to be before and after care enrichment programs available at the school and that's actually partially sponsored by the PTA but there's also going to be an opportunity to join things like the Student Council Association uh, to assist with the school morning news show and also to volunteer to be a safety patrol when your child is in the upper grades. Um, students who are in a safety patrol actually assist the crossing guards and also the staff members during kiss and ride for dismissal and arrival. So the last thing I'm going to cover is going to be ratings and reviews and I actually don't go over that too much in this video and that's because ratings and reviews change year over year and I want to make sure no matter when you're watching this video that you're going to get the most recent and current information out there. So I'm going to point you to the link in the description bar to the Silverbrook Elementary School page on the Ask A Walker website. When you click that link you're going to find the most recent ratings and reviews, a link to the Fairfax County Boundary Locator, more information about everything I just talked about in this video as well as a list of the most recent homes for sale and rent in the area. 